going to say eco bounty news the news with the tinge of mutiny and dean pro quo mm. and thanks for <clears throat> thanks for being with us again team citizens of the world those looking at the current events and thinking uh are questioning it we want we want uh, the ones that question the system as for the others that um um, we know hopefully they might they might wake up to reality and look at uh, the state of affairs of the world or they might just be thinking oh there's nothing I can do you know my opinion doesn't account my um, concern doesn't count leave it up to the politicians what are your thoughts Dean? I think that's a really important discussion to have and coming to Green to Stay or to Dean Pro Quo and sending us a um a direct message or an email or joining up as a membership it would be a, a great benefit to get these types of conversations going um, and we all try to think that we want a consensus I think that's kind of sort of where we're going with this what would you say in yeah that's probably why people um, would leave it up to oh, I'm not educated enough or let let this political party let that political party uh, be concerned but when I look at the state of affairs of Australia, I see that, like, the fantastic opportunities we've got here, and it seems like the establishment here just want to go with the tide. You know, they want to get involved in things that are thousands uh, of uh, kilometres away. They want to they want to hold on to these alliances which are decades old, which have which have no beneficial like uh, benefit, which have no benefits, have no. Uh, nothing nothing to offer the new generation look at the climate you know like they like everything that they've invested trillions of billions of dollars these alliances with superpowers uh building military weapons like uh all this education like none of this has um benefited the environment it's the, the environment the environmental situation is getting worse and worse um and as we all know our environment impacts our mental health and our mental health uh, uh, impacts how we interact with each other in society and, and that's what we're really um, talking about here and we want to get those conversations open and, and transparent as possible by coming and seeing what we do. If you've got an environmental product that you have out there that you're working hard in the background to do, you've got something that you have a little bit of a difference in your shop, why don't you come and talk to us and we'll come and do a review, an interview and, and get to see what you think about it, how you're going about making it a little bit more of a sustainable economy and how that all works in with our our promotions and how we could help each other because that's what pro quo is all about it's about give and take and what are you all about uh, man yeah that's a good idea well I, I uh i i'm along with you i agree totally that was the whole idea of setting up the network the sustainability network i thought i could just review sustainable products uh you know spur on the uh the transition to renewable energy and uh but I kept hitting these these obstacles, and I'm, and the irony of the of it is that the obstacles weren't weren't um, private people, weren't um, you know, weren't private businesses, so to speak. It was the actual government, the actual body that was that is meant to to help humanity progress, to stay on top of the standards, to make sure that the the environment, the climate is protected, to. To help businesses, they were the actual obstacle. Now I know we've got a new we've got a new federal government here in Australia. Um, you know, I think we've stopped the bleeding, so to speak, of the artery. But I still see this sense of like, no, we'll just keep going along with the establishment. We'll just keep going along with the flow. Don't upset things too too much. They still have vested interest in. Um, I'll give you an example. Someone crashed the. Uh, Commonwealth Bank's uh, uh, financial meeting last week, and they they crashed it. And uh, to bring out the point of greenwashing, the uh, Commonwealth Bank has a so so called um, so called new campaign for for the environment, but they failed to mention that they'd given. Um, I can't even, I can't I can't remember the exact figure, but it was something like. Uh, 160 billion dollars to the fossil fuel industry and um, you know so it's this type of hypocrisy which um, which actually um, 
which creates more more um, smoke screening, more disguise, gets people thinking that something's being done when in actual fact the dollars and cents, hundreds, hundreds of millions of dollars still going in the fossil fuel industry. Um, and I, I just don't like, I don't like my fellow citizens being, being treated with contempt uh, by these moguls, you know, who, who think that they can just uh, hire a PR firm with some glossy brochures and, um, you know, even build an app to make everyone track their carbon. But meanwhile, in the back rooms, in the back uh, seedy rooms, they're giving hundreds of millions of dollars to these fossil fuel, uh, fossil fuel companies. I don't like uh, the I don't like the young people being treated with contempt. I don't like them. I don't like their PR campaign campaigns. I don't like their advertising campaigns where they're they're making out they're the good guy when they're doing um, not only doing the same amount of damage, but they're actually, they've uh, increased the amount of damage they're doing to our planet. Okay, we've got um, three minutes left here that we're just gonna keep it to a 10 minutes like we usually do. And, and what, we're, what we're trying to say here, what Ian's saying is very clear. And um, we're, we're, we've got together because we, we have gone through in a generation with a lot of promises that have never been delivered. Um, and we're still waiting and, and in our generation and we're slightly a little bit older now and we're we're coming on to our where we should be happily retiring just like a, the generation pre before us and guess what we're still working our little noses to the grindstone as they say we're in the grind and we probably will be until the day we die but it's not that simple for politicians they seem to get corporate jobs and we just think the whole system is so unfair and it's got nothing to do representing who we vote for, what we voted for and what we standed for. So that's what we're bringing to you to, to come and talk to us about how you feel about it because that is part of getting your voice out there. What do you say to that, Ian? Yeah, yeah. and along those lines, we, we wanted to mention some t uh, other topics regarding the environment and in specifically... Uh, the education system. Uh, what what is the education system that we've that we've set up now? Is it um, what is it what is it uh, where is it taking the young the young generation the next generation? Is it is it going to build a better community? Is it going or, or is it is or is it this type of like Elon Musk sort of capitalistic sort of ideal that oh, you can achieve something? It's all up to you personally. Um, you know, like uh, trillions of dollars, but you know, billions and billions of dollars still being invested in weapons. Um, you know, um, like a few years ago, the Pentagon in the U.S. lost, actually lost a trillion dollars. So all this, all this money just going unaccounted for. But in the way of education, what is it setting up? the next uh, generation for is it building a better society is it building you know are we are we protecting our endangered species are we protecting indigenous people uh, are we are we gleaning all the all the uh, all the education all the skills that they have had handed down are we protecting the uh, heritage of these indigenous communities um, are we gleaning all that knowledge from um, native species and plants and things we can use? Okay, it all comes down to what I just mentioned uh, just a few minutes earlier to Ian pointing out the obvious and that is that in our lifetime we've heard promises like the promise of not having any children living in poverty by 1999, you know, 1998 came and gone 23 years ago, maybe even more. Look, you know, there's so many other politicians that come along and say, oh, okay, we're, we're going to do this and we're going to do that and we need your support and your funding and your backing and you need to vote for us because this is what we're going to do and it never happens. Now, in 32 seconds left to this video, I would just like to say we want your opinion as well. We want you to come and have a look at what we're doing. When we are trying to get the conversation open to everybody and anybody, including politicians, anybody that's out there that has a way of telling us, prove to us, be transparent, come and tell us that this is not the case. Yeah, I'll be happy to see that. And uh, just with that, we'll, we'll sign out. Green Estate Eco signing out. And Dean Pro Crow. Thanks for your time. Do you think that was